If you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to become part of this community. There's really an irony in me dropping that video talking about Culture 3 and that new Migo song straightening yesterday and you know talking about how Culture 3 is going to drop soon, how this is like our first sign of this new album releasing and then today we actually get an announcement for Culture 3 with the release date. So yeah, let's talk about about it. So basically what happened to kind of clear the air is that to the official Migos account, but also I've seen Offset has since uh, posted it on his private account as well. So the Migos took to social media, in this case this is from Instagram on their official Migos account, and posted this kind of press statement, um, which I think is, is really funny the way they kind of constructed the whole thing, because you can see the QC logo in the top left, and it says for for immediate release Atlanta Georgia May 17th 2021 so today the following statement was released today by the Migos through their label Quality Control Music located in Atlanta Georgia in response to questions about Culture 3 and then that statement June 11th we're back and then we can see a number three at the bottom so yeah, this is kind of funny because uh, it says in response to questions about Culture 3, which of course started circulating again after that new track, Straightening, which um, I talked about yesterday as well. And it kind of seems like because so many people were talking about it, in this case me included, they decided to release this statement. Now June 11th, that is not too far ahead in the future, that is in about four weeks. Um, that's a Friday of course, you know, albums usually drop on Fridays. And that's actually, I kind of pride myself in having predicted this thing pretty accurately. I said that it was probably not going to drop in, um, in May still because they wouldn't drop it, you know, next week. Um, as and you know a single is usually released a couple of weeks before the album and then we get the announcement this is exactly what has been the case right here um, so we're getting it in a couple of weeks to kind of start the summer this is usually when like you know in high school uh, summer starts so of course they're kind of you know playing on that and saying like your people will be out again in the summer vaccinated uh, we'll be moving around more freely again and um, they'll be listening to to the Migos to Culture 3. This album, Culture 3, has been in the works for so long and they've been teasing at it for such a long time that it's really, it's crazy to kind of have this statement in front of us giving us this official release date. Don't get me wrong, of course, I love that we're getting this new album very soon, but it's just the amount of, you know, time we've spent talking about this and talking about our expectations for it, talking about the things that I liked about Culture 1 and that I disliked about Culture 2 and how I want the album to be more like the first culture um, that we finally, you know, have this thing. Uh, kind of announcing it which is crazy just kind of you know talk about that thing a little bit I thought it was funny that they you know set this in this official way of course that's just like a gimmick that's how they want to present it to the masses to the public but I think this was done in a very kind of uh, funny way but it works it works I see a lot of people talk about this the Migos for some reason have some hype some buzz going on right now again which of course comes after that last straightening single that video is doing amazing I've seen it you know they posted on their social media that it went number one in the uh, hip-hop videos or the all-time videos on Apple music for some time um, the single is doing pretty well in terms of streaming as well so I love that you know they're getting this kind of attention again for a single that as I talked about in that other video that I dropped yesterday more in depth um, that I really love that I thought was a great throwback to an earlier stage in the Migos career and that brought back that raw energy and that you know longer song but with like a very skeletal beat and just a raw production to it that I loved about that earlier Migos style and that's the style that they came up on and that a lot of people have fell in love with them for and so I think it's very important for them to go back and kind of reevaluate where they came from what their sound is and move Moving forward with what they're going to put on Culture 3. Now the question is of course if we'll get any more singles or releases 
in anticipation and in the rollout process for Culture 3. I'm guessing so, I can't say for sure, but I doubt that that straightening single is the only single that we're gonna get. I think with this straightening single, they were trying to like test the waters and see how people were gonna respond to this. Obviously, they did very positively, me included, because, you know, that was just a raw Amigo song. And the real single that will be used for promotion for this, I think is gonna be somewhat of a more popular sound, maybe some like, you know, metro booming trap heavy beat, with some big feature on that I can see a Drake get on this or whatever. Um, or maybe the Drake feature will be saved for the album. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a Drake feature on this. You know, he was on uh, the second culture and you know, the Migos are just close with him as well. They went on tour together in 2018. That Aubrey and the Three Amigos tour, which I thought was really funny. Um, so, yeah, I'm seeing a big feature on this one. They've already dropped the single with uh, Travis and Thugger back in 2020 give no f's which didn't do too well it had some kind of buzz surrounding it i doubt that this will make culture three i said the same thing about those other singles that we got throughout 2020 taco tuesday racks to skinny uh what else we got yeah, I think that's it. And that Give No F single. So yeah, that's kind of... I, I doubt that those will make Culture 3 just because they are now so far removed from this rollout process. But there'll definitely be a big name feature on, you know, a single that's coming up that will kind of pave the way for the album to get even more hype going about it. Because as much as I love this straightening single and as well as it is performing, this is truly something for the core Migos fans. This is something that like the Atlanta trap sound people will like but not like that mainstream audience that they have attracted with their releases so far, especially not that audience that they were targeting uh, on Culture 2 because that was more of a popular trap sound. Um, yeah, so that's kind of my guess on this. We'll get some more singles, but not as, you know, raw and as classic Migos as the straightening single was, but I'll be here enjoying it. I hope you are too, and I'll be excited for Culture 3. June 11th is not that far in the future. Um, and it's going to be really interesting to see what Culture 3 is going to be like because uh, we've seen, you know, Culture 1 be that really classic trap album and Culture 2 just be like a playlist with a bunch of features overloaded. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what this will be like. But I'm excited. So Culture 3, as the Migos release in this new statement, this new announcement is dropping on June 11th. This is in about four weeks. And I'm excited. I'm all here for it. I pride myself on having predicted this right. But uh, in the end, it doesn't matter. I'm just happy we're getting it. Now, I want to know what you think. Um, do you think Culture 3 will be more like Culture 1 or Culture 2? Do you still think we're going to get singles in the rollout process for this thing? If so, what features will be on there? Are you satisfied with the straightening single? Is that the sound that you want from Culture 3? So, yeah, I really want to know. So, let me know in the comments down below. If you watched this video to the end and liked it, and you want to stay up to date with all current hip-hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button, and go follow my social media and blog down in the description. It really helps me out. Until the next one, y'all have an incredible day, and y'all take care.